Hey everybody, Greg from Strive to Survive, and I'm very excited today to be bringing you a complete full review on this bag that I received from the fine folks over at Factor X Bag. Uh, they contacted me, asked me if I would be interested in doing a review. We back and forth about a couple of things. They sent out the bag, and basically they want me to show it to you guys so that you can be among the first 100 customers to get a super smoking deal on this bag and the amount of accessories that can be purchased to be utilized with this bag is somewhat overwhelming <laughs> but i'm going to do my best to show you all the different things that this bag has the capability to do and the things that it has basically complete design for all of these types of accessories and things that it will do that no other bag that I've ever seen in the world will do all of the things that this one bag will do alone by itself. Okay, so this very front pouch that you come to has four eyelets. And as I said earlier, that actually attaches the solar panel. And this pocket on the very front is also designed to carry the solar panel when it isn't being used. So if you're basically, you know, gotten to a point, basically you've kind of made camp, you can actually take the solar panel out of the bag and you can put it up somewhere. Uh, the solar panel is designed with a lot of features to where you could actually hang it from a tree or different options that you would want to do once you made camp and you needed to charge devices and you just basically wanted it to be separate from the bag so that's the very front pocket that you come to here now another thing i would like to point out about this bag is that there are ykk zippers and there are actually two ykk zippers on each pocket of this bag so here you have two there's one, there's one, and literally there are 11 different pockets on this bag for carrying different items. The side pockets basically are designed to carry something inside them, very padded on the outside and the inside. And it also has water elastic bags on each side of the bag for carrying water bottles or any other water carrying device that you would like to. And you can use these for other items as well, not just water bottles, but uh, extremely well thought out. I have never seen two water carrying bottles and two pockets on one bag ever in my life. Okay, so carrying on here, the second pouch or compartment that you actually come to is large enough and has some organizational features to it for carrying pens, markers. You can see I have my uh, everyday carry flashlight in here. I have my everyday carry knife in here. I also have another flashlight here as well. This very top pocket here, uh, I was actually kind of thinking of different items that you could put in here. And I just love these YKK zippers. Uh, is that this, back, this actual third pouch or organizational pocket you want to say, it doesn't really have any organizational compartments on the inside of it or anything, but basically it goes all the way to the very bottom of the bag. And I was thinking, for my purposes, this would actually be pretty uh, well used for a water bladder. Okay, so this is the fourth compartment, and it's basically the rest of the compartments are going to be accessed from the top of the bag. So you have this compartment here. It has a huge sleeved area here to keep items separately. You could put a laptop in here. You could put any type of handheld device. Uh, basically, uh, this will carry <clears throat> and tote easily a 15-inch monitored uh, style laptop. Okay, so this is the fifth top-loaded compartment pocket that you come to. And as you can see, very cavernous, very huge amount of area to put a whole lot of different things in here. And basically, you have this netted, complete netted panel here with two YKK zippers that access and listen to how quiet those zippers are. I mean, that's almost silent. And you can put a whole host of different items inside this netted compartment. And you will also be able to see what the items are once they're inside.
Now, basically what I've done is turn the bag. That's the front of the bag. And basically just turned it so I can show you what's inside this six compartment. And we will open that up. It 100% clamshells open so that you can access these three independent bags that are actually carrier modules for different components and items that you would have basically your survival kits or any type of kit. You have red, white, and blue. Go USA. And the great thing about these packs is that they are actually independent from the bag itself. And basically what I mean by that is that they're inside the bag and they can actually be removed from the bag. They have Velcro on the back. You have Velcro here on each one of these bags Velcro so that's Velcroed in and it basically becomes an essential part of basically keeping the pack extremely stable especially once you fill these items up with and basically what I did is basically red was first aid white was basically everything that is for fire and light uh, accessories you know flashlights that type of thing glow sticks you know all my fire making stuff is in this bag and blue is basically water and food. So my life straw, water treatment tablets, uh, you know, all those things that are for water and different food items are actually inside this pouch as well. You can customize yours however you want to. Another thing I would like to point out about these independent module cases, basically the Velcro works extremely well. Each of them have three handles each on them and it can be, you can carry it like this. You can run this through your belt loop run your belt through it, you can carry it as a fanny pack and it allows you to go out and do uh, scavenging or foraging or whatever the case may be, fill this up and you've got quite a few items. And it's just an option uh, for you to look at because these three bags actually come with the pack. So it's not anything that you have to pay for extra, they are supplied with a bag when you purchase it from Factor X bag. I have uh, had over 45 pounds of items inside this bag and it hasn't so much as even squeak bag was tested and passed test of loads up to 80 pounds now we're fixing to get into the accessories that are made to go with this bag and guys make sure that you stay with me because you want to wait to the end of this video because it is absolutely mind-blowing the solar kit is provided by a company called Voltaic Systems. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video so you can go check them out if you'd like to. This is the 3.5 watt kit, 4000 mAh battery. Uh, the batteries can be purchased uh, separately as can the additional USB lamp that provides uh, hands-free walking and moving during nighttime, which is designed to actually store in the side pocket of the bag itself. Uh, the charger actually is designed to be carried in the side pocket as well as the solar uh, panel actually charges the battery and the battery charges your device. All this is daisy chained and designed to be held in the side pocket as the solar char charger is or the solar panel is actually attached to the outside of the bag. So another option that Todd has made available with the purchase of this bag you will get two of these bags here <clears throat> which has an available strap that you can actually put around your waist and use as a uh, fanny pack trauma kit and or you can carry it around your shoulder if you would like uh, also have this smaller one here that the uh, the uh, belt can also be attached to if you would like to do so but essentially this is a smaller smaller kit uh, just to help carry different items that would be for your trauma and or medical kit uh, the products that you are going to see inside this bag do not come with the kit. They uh, are probably going to be an option to actually purchase those separately from the company that supplies these. But basically, inside the kit, there is uh, three 3M uh, dust particle masks. You have a ultralight uh, watertight uh, medical kit. This is supplied by Adventure uh, Medical uh, Kits. Uh, very, very cool little kit here. Uh, just the real basic stuff covered here in this small uh, first aid kit and then you have more uh, 
serious stuff as far as you have your uh, scissors here for your uh, cutting your tape. You have a uh, emergency bandage, a trauma wound dressing. Uh, this is a six inch hemorrhage control bandage with second mobile pad inside. Um, you have a package of the Sealox first aid uh, gauze that is very, very good for stopping bleeding. Uh, this is very similar to a product that everybody knows well called Quick Clot. Uh, you have two survival blankets inside uh, tape. There's your shoe again, remove those. Uh, you have some uh, antiseptic wipes. You have two rows of duct tape. This is SOL. As a lot of guys, you will probably recognize survival outdoors uh, longer. Um, you have four. Let's see the four, six, uh, four by four uh, sponge style sterile pads. You have the Fox Seal, which is a occlusive dressing for open chest wounds and contains two chest seals inside this package. Um, and this is, you know, God forbid something super serious happened. Um, uh, you have a rubber tape here. Uh, nitro gloves and then this really really amazing self-hydrating drinking pouch for emergency water uh, you can look this up uh, it's called a hydro pack um, but that's really really an amazing product in itself um, the, about the only thing that this kit doesn't have any that it would need to be like a, a super blown hemi modified trauma kit would be like a scalpel and some hemostats so uh, but you can see how this actually would work well with the pack in any major uh, medical event that would happen. Uh, this is not a boo-boo kit. This is for much more serious uh, things that can happen, uh, uh, unfortunately, in a survival and or bug out situation. Okay, guys, and this is the coolest thing that you're ever going to see on a backpack, probably ever. So check this out. Reach behind you, grabbing the two deploy cable tabs on the bottom of the pack. You pull the tabs in a downward motion and this opens the deploy pocket on the back of the backpack that is closest to your back. Reach up, grab the handle of the ballistic front panel, pull it over the top of your head, over onto the front of your chest, pull the two straps tight, putting the chest panel where you would like for it to be placed. Then you simply attach the rest of the harness to the back pack itself the two clips that are provided for doing so and pull everything up tight and now you have a sleeve and panel that is in the back of the backpack that is 3a ballistic bulletproof material and one on your chest as well the front chest panel is also made to carry a small firearm and or other items in the front chest so this pack, with all the available accessories and features that it has, not only can help you survive a situation, it can also save your life. There, in the times that we are currently living in, this is a very, very important feature to have, especially for students who attend college and or schools at any type of campus or public school system, especially those because those are very acceptable to some very violent crimes that have happened and we see on the news on a very regular basis. Also, this option would be extremely useful for anybody who's in a very, very violent you know, uh, area that is more urban like Chicago and areas of New York, Manhattan and areas like that. But basically anywhere where you're going to be intermingling with a lot of people this is going to be a very great option for you to have an option to be bulletproof if you feel like that is a very strong possibility. Because especially in urban areas, if things go south real, real quick and you don't really have time to adjust or if you have to wait a few days, literally within three days of any major situation, and if not faster, things are going to deteriorate very, very quickly. So having this option is absolutely mind-blowing. I've never seen this option offered with a backpack at all. And like I said, the ballistic panels do not come with the bag at this price point. They can be purchased separately, 
and these panels were actually supplied to us for the review purposes by armorware.com and i'm going to put links to all these companies and you know links to the materials that were used in this video uh, or ones that are very very similar to it so you can get an idea uh, basically if i'm not mistaken these there are the 11 by 16 panels provided by armorware.com and they run around 120 dollars a piece and so if you order the very first 100 orders will receive the bag the two sleeves that hold the ballistic panels without the ballistic panels in them you also receive the three individual case modules and they will be empty along with two of the large trauma kit bags also empty and the two smaller trauma kit bags so literally you're getting eight bags and two ballistic sleeves without the ballistics in them for the low low price of 169 dollars after the first 100 orders have actually been gone through you will receive the bag the two sleeves and the three modular bags that go inside the bag itself and you will you know those people won't get uh the free shipping option or the other uh four trauma bags so uh make sure you get your order in now so that you can take advantage of free shipping and the four free trauma kit bags as well so guys that's my complete review of this bag if you have any questions and or comments about it please Put them in the comment section below. I'm going to have links to everything that you've seen in this video. And like I said, I'll do my best to answer any questions. I'm also going to put a link to, of course, Factory X bag. And um, also, uh, like I said, if you do have any questions that I can't answer, I'll actually try to get in touch with Todd and see if he can help answer any questions that you may have. So uh, you can also ask them uh, directly to him because he'll be the one probably responding to you uh, on their website as well so guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate it as always stay cool stay safe and remember to strive to be the best you can be every day thanks we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel for future updates